What is up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself from games I've never played or heard about. This is a Patreon request for Sion the Emperor. Warhammer 40k Dawn of War. The song is called Space Marines Theme. I have checked out Warhammer 40k two times prior to this. And I just checked out New Sphere before this and then I forgot what the other one was. But there was like a big organ in a huge room. And this is my, I believe, my last Warhammer there is. And the reason I'm doing it is because we hit 40,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is... So I figured 40k, Warhammer 40k, why not? It's a fun fun group of people that have been in my comments. A uh, very passionate crowd. I don't know what this game is about whatsoever. I had a lot of questions in New Sphere. So this is Space Marines theme. Bit of a march parade feel. I'm trying to remember what that instrument is. Is it just just a trombone? I think it's trombone. I love the drums in the back of the snare. Ooh, a light choir with the strings. Okay. Very theatrical. It sounds like we're about to go into war right now. What is that? What is that? Boom. God, everything in this game makes me feel so anxious and get my get my weapon ready. The horns are the horns are doing it for me right now. These are some good horns. Ooh. The tail end of that. Okay, Warhammer, I see you. So it seems as though this game is the epitome of war, ambience, and anxiety. I mean, I'm looking at this image, they're all in formation, they're like looking like they're marching forward. Uh, yeah, definitely, feel, like this image fits that song so well. It has that very like militant march with the snare. Um, I believe that was the only percussion. Nope, that's not true. The other percussion was those big. 
I don't know what those are called. Those are huge, huge drums. Look like toms, kind of. Um, yeah, wow. That was very, very theatrical. Not a whole lot going on, right? Musically, very, very much uh, in line with the rest of Warhammer from what I've heard so far. It's a, it's a big theatrical ambience of just kind of, you know, it's it's orchestral, but it doesn't really feel like, um, it's, it's not... Uh, and this one doesn't feel like classical music or anything like that. It just feels like a a big mood, and it seems like the mood of this of these games are are death. <laughs> like this is what you hear before your demise, or your potential victory. Who knows? But either way, you're going to go fight something, someone, somewhere. It just has that. Like you're you're getting you're prepping, and you know let's 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 get up, get, and let's go. You know, let's protect whatever is ours. Um, and I'm not sure if this one also has opposing forces. I saw a picture from uh, Mechanicus in New Sphere, and that had two opposing like forces looking at each other. And this one, I see just one, and they're looking like they're heading towards a fortress of some kind. So, either way, the the theme seems to be fighting, one way or another. And I'm not sure in what time period, if it's if it's supposed to be uh, actual events or made up. But yeah, this also reminded me a little bit of um, on the style of you know military and all that. It reminded me of a game I used to play called SOCOM too. You might have heard of it. It was like the Call of Duty before Call of Duty. Uh, the soundtrack is pretty similar, and it reminded me of that. And lo and behold, it's the same kind of, although a different kind of war, but alas, fighting. This one had a lot of cool things that I like. Uh, the trombone, it had the, the string, we had a choir, all these little things that were just kind of musically just doing the same thing. Like one would hold the chord, the choir would sing the chord, the trombone would. The trombone was the only one. I think I think it was the trombone. I'm pretty sure the the horn one that sounded kind of that was more up front than anything else. That was the one that was like the lead instrument doing most of the the melodies that you would hear. And everything else felt like this giant, this giant like wall of sound just kind of like drifting in and out. Kind of like them, probably. Like, you know, they had the... Yeah, actually, not to think about it. It has the, the feeling of them like walking forward towards blank, you know. So what I'm gathering from... Warhammer that's different than other orchestral ambient stuff I've done is that this kind of music or this kind of orchestral ambience stuff has more of a daunting ugly feel uh, the music is beautiful though like don't get me wrong but it's it's it has this feeling of just almost almost like regret you know like when I think of, let's say, Monster Hunter, that sounds very much um, orchestral and kind of happy, but also a little more in the fight. When I hear like Elden Ring, I think more like, well, you're gonna die no matter what. You're in, you're in the fight. This seems like prior to the actual engagement and your maybe your last chance to back away. And that kind of thing, you know, more like the the before it happens. The kind of, I guess, the human side to this ugly thing we call war. So, I don't know. Also, <laughs> I just realized <laughs> this always happens. And I swear I'm not trying to do it. Okay, so for those that have <laughs> not seen one of these videos before, a lot of times I forget the name of the song because I click the video, then I go over here and talk to you guys and then I go look back at it and I was like okay so what is the song name and it's Space Marines theme but more importantly the title of the game Dawn of War <laughs> so it's funny it's like almost like subconsciously like seeping into my thoughts um, that is not planned I just I was gonna I was looking at the title I was like oh wait Dawn of War yeah but there you go uh, Space Marines I, I don't know I mean they do look like they're from the future or something i don't know i don't know if they're real people i don't know if they're just robots but it looks brutal though it looks really cool like the, the this guy right here with this like look at that this this guy right here this looks wild 
I see like turrets in the back. Yeah, I don't know. Warhammer looks sick. <laughs> I don't know what kind of game it is. I don't know if it's like a, a RTS RPG uh, action. I have no idea. I don't know if it's a puzzle. Uh, but hey, it's got a following. People like it. That's awesome. But I will uh, lastly say that um, I'm typically not a, a huge fan of orchestral stuff in video games, particularly in video games. Not, I do like it on its own. Um, but this doesn't feel like that. This feels more like I really cannot picture any other type of sound with this, these images that I've seen. I haven't seen gameplay. I haven't seen footage. I've only seen two pictures, this one and another one, and a live video of someone playing an organ. That's it. And I still couldn't imagine anything else besides what. Oh, one more thing. I didn't even think about this. This one didn't have the organ in it, as far as I recall. And the other two videos, I said, hey, this has a lot of organ. Maybe they were both Mechanicus, and maybe this one doesn't have it. I don't remember. But I, I thought to myself, I'm like, Warhammer might be an organ-heavy game. Maybe. But apparently not. At least maybe not this game, or maybe not this song, but this one did not have organ, so... Okay, that answers that question, because I was curious about that. Anywho... That is the last of my Warhammer requests, so who knows when the next time I'll check it out. But I did enjoy the ride that we took, because it was different. Different is good. If you can stand out amidst hundreds of songs that I hear a day, that's, that's something. Think about that. You hear hundreds of songs, they start blending together, you can stand out. Now, I'm not going to remember a melody that I just heard, but uh, I will remember the, the feel it gave me. And I definitely, uh, it's not gonna like draw me away from playing the game or anything. I'm just saying like, it does it does its job. I feel like if I'm playing this game, I, I want to, to feel those things based on the music. So, mission accomplished. Don't know who composed this one. I don't know if it's also uh, David from the other ones, but shout out to them. Thank you Warhammer fans. And thank you to Sion the Emperor. If you want to make a request to me as well, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. Those are guaranteed ways I will check out your VGM request. If you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which is a tier I have that skips the line, basically. And if you have a backlog with me and requests, you can take those with you. And also, they'll get honored. A big thank you to my other supporters as well. Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, Rogue Mock, Solid Bullet 066, your average metalhead, Lord Daddy, and Sakai Nuwarede for being Platinum supporters. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone that you see over here. I love them with all my heart. Thank you to the Warhammer fans, and thank you to everyone for getting me to 40,000 subscribers. That's the reason I'm doing this video. That is a crazy-ass number. That's like two stadiums or one stadium. If, who cares? It's a lot. Thank you guys. The journey is not over. We're still so many songs behind thank you to everyone my name is jesse this has been the auditorium have a fantastic day <laughs>